My good friends at Thrustmaster sent me this T16000M flight stick and throttle. It's only one of the configurations you can purchase the T16000M. There's a couple other awesome ones, like there's twin stick and there's just the flight stick itself. And if you need to, you can always buy the throttle independently. And there's also some rudder pedals. This package they sent me came with the FCS and the TWCS for the flight stick and the throttle. First, let's look at the FCS. It sports a three axis flight stick that has one hat switch, three thumb buttons, and of course the trigger. Each side of the base has six different buttons, two rows of three, and on the back there's a, there's a throttle. It can be configured as either left or right handed by removing two screws, rotating the hand rest, and swapping the grip and the thumb rest uh, that are supplied with the flight stick. Then you have to flip the left right handed toggle switch on the bottom. Moving over to the TWCS throttle, it has four analog axes, which I thought were very fascinating. So it's got the throttle, which moves forward and back. It's got the rudder, which is here on your fingers. And the last two axes are on this little joystick that are near where your index finger will reside. Next to that is a two-way hat switch. Down the right side are three hat switches and a single momentary button. Lastly, on the far left here is a turn dial. And I found this to be a little out of the way and less easily manipulated, but uh, I figure there are some things that you could utilize it for. Maybe a trim when you're doing flight, uh, like flight sims as opposed to space sims. I do a lot more space sims than I do flight sims. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what I'd use it for. Uh, but uh, it's there in case you need it. What I really like about this setup is that each device can be independently connected and configured as its own USB device. Now I went ahead and decided to test out this HOTA setup with some maneuvers in Elite Dangerous. It took me several minutes to get used to because I've, I've been using a different HOTUS and the button configuration is all different. But I was impressed at how responsive it felt. I mean, the, the flight stick was actually really, really awesome. The throttle was really smooth, and it didn't feel like it was getting stuck in any place, and it seemed very, uh, you know, very accurate with um, the, the movements uh, all the way around. If you're just getting into flight sims, or if you're like me, you play a lot of Elite Dangerous, or you're just getting into Elite Dangerous, or you're looking forward to Star Citizen, I would recommend taking a look at this setup. As I said, there are several different combinations of configurations so you can have a throttle you have a flight stick you have two flight sticks uh, I wouldn't suggest two throttles but that's a possibility uh, you could even get a, uh, a rudder pedals and you can add it all any combination of the above or you can put all of them together have two flight sticks a throttle and the rudder pedals I don't know how that would work but maybe that is something that you'd want to do maybe it's something I'll test out a little later on it's gonna be it'll be interesting if you're interested in more information about this flight stick and how I feel about it. You can always check me out on Twitch. Uh, there'll be links in the description down below for both this flight stick and pretty much my entire flight simulator setup. Uh, hope this helps. And if you guys are looking forward to seeing more videos like this or other crazy antics that I get myself into or other really awesome projects that I have planned, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can always like and comment down below if you've got anything uh, constructive to say. Until next time, my name is Kane, and I'm here to help you.